This is a demo of a tool called Cenudo. And I learned about this tool uh, not too long ago. We're gonna go over a few different areas, but I wanna let you know kind of what the tool is all about. So generally it offers six main modules and over a dozen individual tools. And generally it'll help you plan and write content for your website that's optimized for SEO. So you enter your domain and your keyword that you're targeting and it'll generate dozens or even hundreds of article ideas. And I'll show you all this. Plus it'll show you some keyword sets and some competition analysis. Then it'll guide you with the optimal content length, keyword usage, headlines, subheadings, and all the things you need to do to make sure it's optimized for SEO and it saves a ton of time. It also includes keyword groupings and topic clusters, which it comes out very clearly when you go through the planning process. There's also a rank tracker as well. So let's hop in and I guess actually before I get to it, you can check out a free 14 day free trial. So there's a link in the description. You could follow along. I am an affiliate. So if you do sign up for a paid plan, I would get a commission, which I greatly appreciate. So first off, I am already in the plan area, but I'm going to back out and go to the content suite. So this uh, generally shows you what you should do. It's very clear. There's three main areas. So you plan what you're gonna write, and that's where you generate the keyword ideas, then you write the content in the writer, and then you track. So it's, luckily it's very self-explanatory, which is great for me. And generally it also helps you keep the topic areas together. So as we'll see in a moment here, you'll know exactly how to cluster your content together, which is very important to develop topical authority and topical relevancy so that Google knows that you're an authority in that area. So let's uh, take a look at my content plans and this is where I was before. And I have a couple here that we'll take a look at, but if you wanna create a new plan, you would obviously cl click the green button. You put in the domain name here. So I'll put in mine niche site project.com and then a couple keywords. So I could put in uh, maybe like long tail keywords and you could put in up to two. So I'll put in long tail keywords and maybe just like keyword research. So I'll select those and I could put in some competitors if I want to, but I won't. I'll just click generate draft content plan. And here's the thing. It does take some time for this information to be gathered. So a little pop-up tells us that it might take like two or three hours before it has it completed. So it's collecting data. So keep that in mind. I went ahead and did this ahead of time so that you don't have to wait two or three hours. That would make for a very long video. So we'll take a look here at um, like the affiliate marketing one, for example. So we'll take a look and open this content plan. Like I said, I ran this before and there was a large set of keywords. I think there were maybe like 300 keywords or so. And then I selected 17 articles on the 300. You can turn up or turn down how narrow you want the keywords to be. And I think if I turned it really far down, it was like 30 keywords. And then if I really expanded and made it more broad, there were hundreds, like I said. So I picked 17 that looked to be relevant for what I wanted to cover for this cluster and things that gave me different areas to talk about. So we see how to start affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing for beginners, which are pretty closely related. Blogs about affiliate marketing, which is distinctly different. And then affiliate marketing on Pinterest, affiliate marketing with ClickBank, with YouTube, best WordPress theme for affiliate marketing. So you can see these would make a really nice cluster. And if I were to click on one of these, I'll say, let's go for the affiliate marketing for beginners. It does give us some high level information. It tells us the relevancy is about 16%. We have some relevant traffic info for potential traffic. And it says it's about 1400 
potential traffic. There were 48 keywords associated. And the average position for my site, it actually pulled information for my site, is about 100, which is pretty low. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really get traffic for that area. And the total search volume for this group here of all these keywords is 3,700. So it's kind of cool because uh, you know some of them get more searches and then some of them are like long tail keywords. So we can see if my site actually ranks for any of these and what URL, which uh, none of them do, unfortunately here. But that's why I would want to create a cluster around there. So some of these are a bit redundant. Some of them don't quite make sense. So affiliate uh, marketing step-by-step -step 2017, right? That doesn't quite make sense. So some of these you would throw out and kind of group together, but no big deal. That gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on. It does give you the estimated traffic, the potential traffic based on the search volume and the potential traffic to gain. So if I was already ranking and maybe I was ranking number two for one of these, then the potential traffic and the potential traffic to gain would be a little bit different. You can also click on the questions area to see if any questions pop up, which you can write a whole article on that and put it in the cluster, or you could include it in one of the individual articles. Like, can you get started with affiliate marketing for free? Or how can a beginner do affiliate marketing? Right? So there's a couple of ways that you can go with it. So this is what you see in the content plan. So there's, again, a lot of them here. And what you would do is you would, just like I did, pick out about 17 or whatever number makes sense to you. I would say, you know, at least you know, five or six articles for a given cluster for your content plan. But you could go up to, you know, 50 or 100 articles for a content plan. You may do some sub clusters and stuff like that if you wanted to. But generally, you could put together a pretty large content plan that would take you you know, weeks or months or even, you know, years to work on if you have a big enough content plan. So once you have uh, this in place, you can move over to the writer section. And again, you can create a new article. So I'm going to, I think I have some in place here, but you can create a new article. You could put in the given keyword. So if I wanted to just start fresh and do, you know, long tail keyword, we could do that and then put in the, the domain as applicable. Or if you have done some preliminary work in the planner, you can load from the planner. So you, you can click the drop down, and then it'll give you an option of your various content plans. So I'll go with the affiliate marketing one. I'll click on article, and then it has all the sub articles that I could choose from here. So we'll say affiliate marketing on Pinterest, and then create content. And this goes a little bit faster. They're, they do crawl. You know, it's a live crawl here on Google and the site's from the top 20. It does say it can take up to five minutes. So they'll notify us when it's done. And that means a little, uh, there's a little bell notification up here underneath my uh, picture <laughs> up there. But you can see it. It's a bell notification like normal. We will go to the list because I did do some of these in the past. So we'll just pop over here and do keyword research on YouTube. Now, the thing is, I'm not gonna write the whole article here. That's That would take very long. I'm a slow typer, we've already seen a demonstration of that. But you can see here, we have uh, you know basically a, an editor, and you could do subheadings, you can do rich formatting, links, insert images, so that you can copy and paste into your CMS, probably WordPress, a lot of people use WordPress. The main thing, that we're gonna look at, this is the, the star of the show over here. So this area here lets you know what keywords to use and in what quantity. So uh, red means you haven't used it yet. And uh, you know I only have 218 characters over here, uh, while the goal is 10,000 characters, which is a certain number of words, which it looks to be, um, actually, I'm not sure what, 10,000 characters is. So it would be helpful to see that in word count, not characters. But this does give us an idea that we are very far off from what the, the target is. What we can do is see, uh, I'll, I'll use a couple of these keywords. So I'll say uh, search results here. And just for the sake of seeing how the tool works, I'll make it a subheading. But I'll say, you know, what are 
search results. And then we'll see it turns green. So I'm using it uh, a, a, a relevant number of times, like within the range that is recommended for things that are ranking in the top 20. And we can see that the content score, well, it starts off at zero, it goes to 100, and over 80 is what we are aiming for. You can, so you can see I met one more criteria for keyword usage, and we went up 1%. So I'll just say uh, YouTube channel here, which is one other that we potentially would need to use. And then we have another one go green. So you can see if you just work through, you know, I, what I would say is you could probably like write your article as normal. And then after that, you would go and make sure you're using the words that are recommended over here. Now, the thing is, you don't have to use all of them. Again, we're aiming for like over 80 here. So it's okay if you don't use every single one in the quantity that they recommend, as long as you have a good article over here. They do give you a target for the amount of media, so images or videos, the number of subheadings, and the number of links. You can also put in, you know, your meta description, your meta tag, meta titles, all that kind of stuff here. So that is how you use the writer overall. And if you look on the SERP analysis, it does give you the SERPs here, the top 20, and it tells you the content score of that article plus the number of characters, the headers as well internal links and external links. So it gives you a bit of information in a consolidated way about your competitors. Again, what you're aiming for is to get a content score over 80. So you can see the ones that are ranking in the top 10 here. I mean, the highest one looks to be 67. There's a couple of them that are in the 20, some of them pretty low. And as you go down, you can see the various lengths of how long these articles are and the content score and that, you know, they kind of, sometimes they, they go together. Like for example, this rock content has a high score, 15,000, while the Ahrefs, it only has uh, just under 3,000 uh, characters, a content score of 19. But one thing my, my guess is, is there's a lot of links going to that particular article. So there's uh, there's more than you know just getting the content score, but obviously if you can have uh, more thorough content, that's gonna help out. So that's what the SERP analysis does for you here. And finally, we could hop over to the tracker, which I haven't created one yet, but you would do it in the same way. And you wanna load project from cache memory. I'll say no, we'll just do it fresh here. So we'll call it, niche site project, and then type it in here. United States, uh, don't include uh, Google Maps, and then include direct answer in my ranking. Okay, that's fine. And I'll click next step. And then we would type in the keywords that we want to track. There are suggested ones, which is uh, great, probably based on what the site is ranking for. So that's fine. Keywords in the project. So I'll go ahead and just, I'll select all of these. I'll add those 100 keywords. And then I can click next step. And it'll track up to 100. Uh, it gives us some competitors as well. So I'll go ahead and pick some that seem to be relevant competitors here. I'm not gonna go too far. And I'll add those competitors in there, create the project, and it could take about five to 10 minutes to do that. But luckily, they do have a sample project in here, or I thought there was a sample project in here. Let's go back and see if we could find it. But anyway, what you can do is track those given keywords. We then can see if we're successful with uh, planning the content, then writing it, we could track, we can see what's in the top three in the rankings, what's in the top 10, top 50, and so on. So it gives us a, really a dashboard on the success of our site. So the other uh, area, so I think we might be able to load this, and if not, we'll head over to the SEO tools because there are specific 
SEO tools that you can dial down into. So we'll click on this and it's loading data. I'm not sure if it's still gathering it. So, so right, we don't have much data yet. It's just created the project. It's not quite done yet. So let's hop over to the SEO tools of which there are several. There's a few different categories. So uh, this is all of them listed, but we'll dial in to SERP analysis. So SERP analysis allows you to analyze the competition and see how to design your content structure. We have the uh, top 100 crawl. So basically you can check domains and URLs in the top 100 for selected keywords in the URL crawler. So you can download data about content length, headings, and other HTML elements that are, uh, that are characterized with the URLs that you enter. So it'll go check those URLs for you. Next, we have the Keyword Explorer, which is kind of a traditional keyword research tool. You have a keyword grouping tool that uh, basically divides the keywords into groups, and it does that either semantically or linguistically. All right, so linguistically as well. Then we have Keyword Stats that helps you dial down into search volume, cost per click, and trends, and then Quick Suggestions. So the Quick Suggestions is really like a very basic keyword research tool. And they actually do say it's a simplified version of the Keyword Explorer. Next is the tracker. So kind of similar, you know, you can compare days. So you could look at the positions for a given keyword on specific days, compare SERPs. So you could look at the top 50, top 20, top 10, I'm going backwards here, uh, to see f uh, keywords and changes that you're interested in. Of course, you got competition analysis and see what your competition is ranking for. And this is a great one, uh, keyword cannibalization to see if uh, pages on your site are ranking for the same keywords, right? Usually keyword cannibalization means you're not ranking as high as you could and you should probably consolidate those keywords. So that is the broad overview. Uh, you know, you got tons of tools over here. The main thing is the content suite. Don't forget you can get a 14 day free trial. You could just click the link in the description. There's no credit card. You just have to sign up and create an account and then you're able to use the tool. So thanks a lot, Sanudo, for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. And I am an affiliate. If you sign up, I would get a commission, which I greatly appreciate. And it's no extra cost to you.